In this tutorial, we're using the Pythagorean theorem for more fun stuff. In this case, we've been given some points on the coordinate plane. They're plotted here on the graph. What is the distance, we are asked, what is the distance between points P and Q round to the nearest tenth? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw this. This actually turns out to be a triangle, right? So I've got a triangle that goes, a line that goes from here to here, a line that goes from there to there, and a line that goes from P to Q. So we now have our triangle. We want to know what is the distance between points P and Q. We want to know this distance right here. We can use the Pythagorean theorem because we've been given the distance over here. And we have to pay close attention because the distance from P to R looks like it's 1.5. But we're actually counting by twos. The distance from negative 6 to negative 4 is 2. And then we've got one here, so that gives us a distance of three right there between P and R. And if we count here between R and Q, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times two, which is 14. So we have 14 units here. And now we'll simply use the Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared because I have a leg A and I have a leg B. What I don't have is a hypotenuse. A hypotenuse here, I, I don't know what the measure of that is. And I know that's my hypotenuse because it is opposite of the right angle. So let's plug in our values. We know that it doesn't matter which one we'll call it. We'll call this one A right here and we'll call this one B over here. So three squared is nine plus 14 squared. And 14 squared turns out to be 196. And together that will be equal to c squared. I'm going to add 9 and 196, which is going to give me 205 equal to c squared. And again, I don't want c squared. I want c. So I have to take the square root of c squared. And to keep it balanced, I have to take the square root of 205. That's going to give me that c is equal to 14.3 and a bunch of digits. We're supposed to round to the nearest tenth. So it'll be 14.3. And there you have it.